Always low, low prices at Pahrumpf Valley Auto Plaza. I'm here with Nye County Clerk Sandra Molino. Hi, Sandra. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Tell me about how the election is happening now because um, it's going to be a mail-in. How does that work? Uh, that's correct. You know, there's a statute in the NRS that allows us to request an, a mail-in precinct at any time, and our Secretary of State can approve that. All of the clerks met, as well as the Secretary of State, probably a couple of months ago when this first started, and determined that it was going to be just about impossible to hold an, uh, a live election with polling places and election workers just because of the coronavirus. So each county actually requested that we have all precincts designated as mailing precincts and the Secretary of State approved it. So once that was done, um, we just started moving forward. We found a vendor who would actually take care of most of the state as far as printing ballots, um, creating envelopes, sending everything out. Um, Clark County has one vendor and most of the other counties have another vendor. We are sending ballots only to active voters at this time. There's another thing with the statutes. There are certain procedures we have to follow to remove voters from the rolls. We can make them inactive, but there's a certain process to actually remove them. Um, so, like I said, we're only sending ballots to active voters. We recently sent out notices to all of our inactive voters just to give them a chance to update their address or anything else. And we actually did get quite a few who updated. Um, but those who did not, they may have moved, but we have no way of knowing right now. Um, and we just hope that any individual who receives a notice for another individual who used to live at that address, we hope that person will get it back to us and say this person no longer lives here that helps us out but if they just toss it in the mail then we have no way of knowing somebody has moved or not let's talk about some of the deadlines um you have mailed out the overseas ballots these are official ballots right um and then the other ballots are being mailed out pretty soon Yes. What happened is Friday, last Friday was the deadline for military and overseas. And we have a process through the Secretary of State. It's called an ease program um, that they can log into that and vote a ballot online and it's distributed to us or we can actually email them a ballot and it's distributed that way. So we actually have a military ballot back already. But as far as um, out of state, those are due out this week. But what our vendors did is they just determined they were going to send us the, send out the whole batch at once. So actually, the ballots are in the mail drop tomorrow. So by I would say by the first of next week, everyone should be receiving them. Hopefully, they don't beat the sample ballots. The sample ballots went out today. 